Aren't you happy for Jessica? She did a great job preparing for recruitment and it definitely paid off. This story would have likely been much different if she had not prepared. So now let's talk about how you're going to put this puzzle together for yourself. You now know how recruitment works in terms of mutual selection, the numbers game, and the release requirements for sororities and for yourself. You know how sororities prepare for months to meet you. You understand the qualities sororities are really looking for in their new members. You've decided which qualities you possess that are relevant in marketing yourself to the sororities. You're now aware of many of the guidelines that govern your conversations as well as the right questions to ask and why. Your strengths and hurdles from the perspective of a potential sorority member have been chosen. You have designed your resume and recommendations to highlight your strengths and address your hurdles. You understand how the greetings, transitions, and farewells work. You've planned some conversation topics that will help you reveal your strengths to the sorority members. You know how you should look and which nonverbal signals you should be tossing around. You know on what basis you should be evaluating the sorority women you meet, how you should be recording your feelings, and how that will affect your event, accept, and decline decisions. You have a grasp on the conversations you should not be having, as well as some ways to get out of sticky situations. You know how to be gracious by helping a sorority woman get out of a sticky situation herself, or how to behave when you must sit through an event at a chapter that doesn't interest you. Assuming you know all these things, let's get the most important points written down. We'll start with your strengths and follow those the same way Jessica did, evidence and then questions. At this point, please visit SureSister.com and download your Total Prep PNM Worksheet PDF. These sorority women are thrilled to have an opportunity to meet you and tell you about their sorority and its fabulousness. They're truly looking for reasons to like you, not the other way around. You'll almost certainly meet several sorority women who are cool, sweet, intelligent, attractive, kind, and friendly. Unfortunately, they'll all be in different chapters. This is why sorority recruitment can become such an emotional roller coaster. You develop an admiration for and a relationship with these women. Then you have to either say or hear, I think you're fabulous, but I'm sorry, I won't become your sister. Brace yourself. No matter which side of this breakup you're on, it can really feel awful. At the same time, you'll be elated you are taking a step toward becoming a sister to the coolest woman you've ever met. Up, down, up, down. Keep an open mind and go into recruitment with the intent to find a few sororities you like rather than just one. Very few women get through recruitment without being cut from at least one or more sororities. Expect to be cut. Be pleasantly surprised if you're not. Are you a sorority legacy? Being a legacy to a chapter is a great step forward, but it's not a guarantee. So for the purposes of this book, because your goal is stacking the deck in your favor and because you can't influence your legacy status, it's not discussed. I suspect if you are a legacy to a sorority and you're interested in joining that sorority, you don't want to screw things up, right? Once your recruitment week is completed, no matter the result, please send me your recruitment story and photo at petals at suresister.com. I can't wait to hear from you.